Welcome back. So this road I'm walking up right now, it's my neighbors that owns it. And I talked to them about it. So they have they have a, a farm, big farmland. And they actually just built this road for fun. Because they didn't have anything else to do at the time. This is kind of neat. I've been driving up here with an ATV before. And it goes all the way to the top. Then it just stops. It's nice to have a bit of open roads to walk sometimes in the forest. Like the forest in Norway is just overgrown completely. There's so little farming and animals being herded in the forests. There's also like so much CO2 these days that trees are just growing and growing everywhere. And economics behind the trees are also not the best. You know everything like it's automated these days so they cut down large amount of trees and forests in a very short amount of time. In Liberstar we still do it manually with regular chainsaw and tractor and pull everything with forest. And then one of the things we actually do is build these roads as part of what we're doing. And we're doing them in fairly high quality just because we can and then we can demonstrate that we are building the road with roads we don't need government to build roads yeah and I can turn around so you all here we go uh, what should we talk about today we talk about roads finance and stuff yeah let's talk about roads actually and construction in general, or doing things in general in the economy. So one of the things, if you're stuck in a statist, statist economy, you need to pay taxes. You need to pay income taxes, corporate taxes, wealth taxes, VAT on products and services. All of these are happening in so many layers for all the people working on the project. So in the end, the majority of money that goes into a project like building this road I'm walking right now is um, not like the road I'm walking right now, but uh, other roads, other projects. A lot of the money and the production sort of outcome goes to the government in terms of uh, these taxes. If we could avoid those taxes, and you can avoid them if, if you do a free city project, you uh, you can produce stuff uh, much cheaper. And it's the same way you're if you uh, if you're a kind of person who likes to do things yourself. You don't need to hire people to paint your own house or do an extension on a house. You're going to save a lot of money on it. Uh, obviously, you need to have some some money to begin with to have uh, some land or some house and buy some materials, but the more you can do yourself, the better it is, right? You, uh, if you take your, a month off your job, right? You don't need to drive to the office every morning and back again, which means you're saving on electricity or gasoline. Um, you're not uh, using your car, which keeps the value up. And, um, and instead of having people coming to your place uh, do, using their cars and everything, you're just uh, working locally. And um, it is it, it, you can make things so cheaply by just relying on your own manpower. And one of the things I've realized after, I like I, I love to do everything myself as much as possible. And the thing you'll quickly discover is that when you start doing things yourself, you don't work from eight to four you wake from morning until you go to bed and that's also a big benefit because you're you get extreme production up and running very quickly and you get this high of adrenaline and uh, other happy and, yeah you get released stuff into your brain 
it makes you happy and um, it's just a win-win if you're able to do things yourself and that's also the thing like you we're doing here in Liberstad and I also see the things with the Montelibro project in Montenegro is that if you're able to do things locally with local people um, there's so much benefit from it so that's uh, an important aspect of building freedom is coming together multiple people with many different diverse skills they can do different things right and then you can exchange time with people so if I help you out with painting painting your house or doing some construction in your house then you can come and help me do construction and this is actually a thing that government have in different countries are cracking down on for especially for people that are educated in like carpentry or construction and everything they don't you even have to pay taxes if you're building your own cabin as a carpenter right because you're getting benefit of using that uh, skilled labor that you provide yourself right so it's just insanity but yeah that's my tip for today get together with your friends and family you can do this without living in a free city obviously just start learning some skills and it's not dangerous like it's power tools you need to have respect for them but you can anyone can learn to use power tools and with youtube today you can just search whatever topic you need to learn watch a video and then do it i actually like i'm not a mechanic many many years ago I took uh, the engine out of my Mazda RX-7, a rotary engine, and I did that. This was before. This was before the web took off, and I think it was even before YouTube was made. I don't remember. But um, I bought a DVD. So I was watching this DVD, hitting pause, looking at what bolts to to unscrew, and everything. And I did it. It was such an amazing feeling from not being really a mechanic person to actually removing and installing engine into a car and having it run on the first try that's uh that was incredible but these types of things the government wants to crack down on because they believe it's, it's also not it's not not just the government doing this this is mostly uh the businesses themselves uh what's it called corporatism where private interests join together with the government to avoid competition so if you're a big company doing uh, car manufacturing or like now car repairs you don't want regular people to repair their own cars you want to uh, keep it in your own in your own shop so then you go to the government and say oh hey government it's dangerous when people repair their own cars they can crash they go on the highway and they explode and then the government says, oh yes, we, our job is safety of the people. So then they regulate and then they make it illegal for you to fix your own car. And this happened here with, uh, you know, heat pumps. Uh, it's, so, it's, so, it's so obviously clear what, what happened here in Norway. You can read uh, a post, I think it's from 2015, from the uh, like business uh, organization for electricians and uh, plumbers or something like people that that do these uh, heat pump installations and they're saying that oh uh, there's uh, pressurous gas here and everything and if something do, does something wrong uh, you can get in an accident and hurt yourself it was 2015 i think and then in 2017 or 19 or something probably 19 they made it illegal for regular people to install their own heat pump you can go and order it online uh, yourself and everything but to actually pick it up at the store you need to have a certified installer for a heat pump yeah electricity most of it you can do yourself in the house and i even saw that there's plumbers here in norway that uh, and, and their own organization of plumbers they're uh, stating publicly oh uh, regular people are not allowed to do this uh, type of plumbing in their houses and then the government actually like public statement said that yes people are allowed to do this but that's like and then people might take this as a sign that oh the government is on our side i'll tell you what it's just for a few years and they turn around 
and they make it illegal for you, for us humans, or me, or or regular humans to uh, deadly humans to actually do our own plumbing in our houses, right? So this is going on all the time. It's getting regulated and it's getting restricted what you're allowed to do, and that's brings me back to the fear thing, right? So, electrical stuff, for example. You need to be careful. I have electrocuted myself a few times, and it's not a pleasant experience. But everything is, is connected together. Uh, so you connect the insurance companies with the uh, government, and then the electrician companies and their organizations. And uh, so... It, they collaborate together and they say like, okay, if you're doing your uh, electrical work yourself, the insurance is no longer valid, right? And that's a, and that's a way of putting fear into people, scaring you away from attempting to do things yourself and learning to do it yourself. There's nothing in the way of learning these skills. If you take the time and you focus, and a lot of people are very handy people and they end up not doing it themselves because they're afraid, they have fear. So do it yourself as much as possible. Save on taxes, save on income. You don't need, you need less income if you're able to do things yourself. Grow your own food, for example. That's the most basic, easy thing you can do. And even that will be restricted. And there are, there are big restrictions on it already, right? You can't just grow your own stuff and sell it to your friends or your neighbor. So, yeah, keep trying. We will keep trying and be free. Till next time, bye-bye.